there are two types of extension tables available for the Husqvarna Viking machine. There's this white um, plastic one with a guide and then there's a clear table as well. So let me just explain to you the differences. So the white table is curved, so it's got a beveled edge and it's used really good for free machine embroidery. So because of the shape of it, it's really good for that. It's also good for dressmaking and other projects as well. You've got this guide that moves across so you can move it where you want to where you want it to be and you can place your fabric on the edge so it acts as like a seam guide on the side of the table. You've also got a cut out here to allow you to get to your bobbin so if you're doing something like free machine embroidery and you are wanting to change your bobbin um, you've got easy access to it. The size of the white table is 12 by 20 inches so 12 this way 20 inches on the length. This table is uh, clear, so as you can see, I can put my hand under it, you can see it's completely clear. So it, this table is great for using as a light box as well as a table, so you can put a light underneath it and you can trace off your patterns on the top. It is, um, it has got a tape marking on it as well, so you've got a size guide on it as well. This is a really great table for quilters because of its size. It is a 28 inches by 18 across. The clear quilters table comes with a protective film on it. It's a green film, so you just need to peel that off and you'll see your nice clear table underneath it. You will also find you'll get a bag of legs and you'll get some little rubber feet with it. And I'll just show you how to assemble those. Your legs will come in three pieces, two, three. We're going to assemble them by putting the feet in first. So they just screw into the bottom. Just screw them in until they're about three quarters of the way in. You can adjust them a bit more afterwards. And then you'll get a little sheet of little rubber feet and the rubber feet just go on the end. And then you take this piece underneath the table, screw it in a bit more, place it underneath the table and then take this piece here on the top and it just slides down, it's like a big screw, and then just turn it and tighten it up until it's gone all the way down and your leg is in place. And you need to do that with all of the six legs. And then on the bottom of your leg, you've got a little adjuster, so you can just um, turn that down so that it's touching the table, so that when it goes onto your machine, um, it's in place. I'm going to show you how to put your white um, extension table on. So first of all, you need to take off your accessory tray. So just pull the accessory tray off the machine, put it to one side, take the table and slide it just where the accessory tray has been, all the way on, and then just push it in to make sure it's in, in tightly. This guide here, you can move it around as and when you want to. So you can, if you're not using it, you can just push it across to one side out of the way. I'm going to show you how to put the clear table on. So first of all, we're going to remove the accessory tray from the back of the machine. And then we're going to slide on the extension table all the way along. Now this extension table doesn't clip onto the machine like the white one does um, because it's got legs on it. So we'll need to adjust these legs. So if you look at your uh, machine and just feel around here, you will be able to feel if it's level with the table. Um, and I can feel that it's slightly higher at this end. So what you need to do is just adjust your legs. So the legs just screw in and, in and out, up and down. So you just need to adjust the legs just a little bit until you feel it's flat. So that's quite flat now, this end. It's a little bit low at the back, so I'm just going to higher it up at the back a little bit, just to level it off. And once you're happy with it, you're done. You can carry on sewing on your table. Mm -hmm.